Okay, I'm going to play a little bit more with this Plasma Stick 2040 today and just have a look at some of the other things we can get it to do and then see whether I can connect it to a different set of LEDs as well. We'll try and demonstrate uh, what the standard programming does when you turn it on and it's connected to Wi-Fi. So if you remember in the last video I said it did something with cheer lights. Cheer lights is this system where you can get a colour off it it just has a colour at different times, but if you send a tweet to it or if you talk to it the correct way on Discord, uh, it allows you to change the colour. So, as I said, I've not had much joy. I have have had this work, but not had much joy on camera. So here's my Twitter account, and I'm just going to send a tweet to uh, Cheer Lab. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> It's already gone purple annoyingly. I was going to change it to purple. So that changed on its own there. Let's go to at cheer lights and let's say change it to blue then. So if I tweet that, obviously we'll look at the API and the code for it in a minute and look to see what it's doing. But uh, hopefully that will go blue in a couple of seconds. In the meantime, I've got some of these um, RGB LEDs, which are a, a generic thing that I got off, just bought off eBay, I think. Let's zoom in a little bit. Still waiting for about 120 seconds on this, but it's not helping me at the moment. At least it goes with the brand of my mats, hey? These are Neopixels as well, you might call them. Adafruit calls them Neopixels. Um, so this has got 12 of them on there. And uh, it's just got this little interface on the back. These were just pads and I've just soldered uh, one of these board header things, header pins, DuPont pins, whatever you want to call them on it. But it's got a, a data in, it's got voltage in it's got a ground and a data out so the data out you use if you're going to connect this to another one but at the moment I'm just going to try it with this so let's just try and connect it then I'll get a breadboard hopefully I'll move that just there hopefully it'll stay in the screen let's move the keyboard out a little bit so let's just pop it into the breadboard like that let me just uh, remember that it's ground so ground is on this side ground is here so let's get a black before I forget and I think that's my 120 seconds up and of course it's not changed to blue oh well this uh the first time I did it it changed almost instantly and I just can't get it to work now but anyway when we turn this one on hopefully if this is connected to the wi-fi this will go blue as well anyway let's get it wired up first so the first one there is ground then for this particular device the second one is the power in, which is the five volts, orange, and then the pixels of the data in. So that's got that sorted, still hasn't changed. So now let's wire it up to this spare board. And uh, I did check this before this video. In fact, this is the second time I've recorded this due to the fact I lost my footage for some reason. That's never happened before. Let's just open these up. But this did have the same software on, even though it didn't come in the kit. I think in my previous video, I might have said that it's just a standard a UF2 file. I'm not sure whether it is. It probably needs one that's been made for the plasma stick because it's importing plasma. Do minus to start with. And then the positive over the other side. So it's not pin for pin connectivity, this unfortunately. Obviously, it's not designed to work with this one. It's been designed to work with its own one. Pixels there. All right, so that's not going to change. We're going to move that out of the way for now. And then let's just get Thunny on the screen and I'll connect it up. Let's just play with one of these again and open it up. So this is a basic fire effect. So let's uh, run that. Okay, so there's there's something up now i mean that's flickering like a fire but i don't know unless it's a weird green fire that doesn't look right does it so what else could we try let's do the the rainbows open that i'll stop it first yeah so that looks all right that's that's as you'd expect so that's good but this fire just doesn't look right so what else have we got we've got We've got tree with fairy lights, so that should be predominantly green unless it's flashing other colours, shouldn't it? And that's come out as red. So there's something up with this. 
So let's go back into the main one and see what we've got the options to change. So there's the main. So this is the one that will, if we've got a Wi-Fi connection, it will go out to this API, which is from Cheerlights, and it will pull in whatever the latest color that someone's tweeted. Although not if I tweet it, because it's just not working. Every single time I try and record it, it doesn't work. But anyway, as you saw. Interesting, it's got a number of LEDs here. So let's let's just get that so it's not doing too much. Let's change that to 12 to begin with. And then hopefully if I just stop that and run it, maybe it will be blue now. And it's gone straight into blue. But is that blue? Because I don't think it's set up right. I wonder what this looks like at the moment. Let's plug this one back in and just check that that's not gone blue because these should be the same colours. So let's start this one up. Right, that's purple still. All right, so they should be the same because they both talk to the same API. So something's going on. What else have we got in here? Well, let's just move down a little bit and try and find when it actually turns the thing on. Look, lead strip. So this is the setup anyway. There's a, all of this stuff at the top is to do with, well, that's for the Wi-Fi. This bit is for the rainbow, which is what it shows when you can't find a Wi-Fi connection, which is supposed to be like a green and pumpkin basically a pumpkin color isn't it i think just scrolling along a bit we've got this color order plasma we've got this this color order and it says rgb now some of these leds are wired up differently and they're not necessarily going to be wired up in that red green blue order so i think the best thing to do let's open the fire one again and change it to number of leds 12 which is for this little circular thing. And there's this got, so this has got color order at the top and this has got red, green, blue. Hang on, let's run it first. What color is coming, is coming out. So that's coming out with a green color. So green's in the wrong place. All right, so let's, let's move green to the end. So put blue there. So it's now red, blue, green. Stop that and do it again. And will the color change? All right, it's gone bluer. So there is something going on here uh, and you can just change this to whatever order. So I can't remember what I did before. Red, green, blue. All right. So let's put red at the end. So it's BGR, blue, green, red. Let's try that bit. And that's still blue. OK, so I can't remember what else I've not done yet. So green, red, blue. Let's try that. E, that's better. So that's probably right. That is more of a of a fire colour. I hope you can see this in the camera. So yeah, that's more of a fire colour, I think. So that's good. Let's just take the uh, light stand. Does that show any better? Oh, it is what it is. It's blinding the camera out a little bit. So let's let's copy this G G R B. Let's copy that and go back to the main stop it and play again and that was showing blue but the other one over there is still showing purple so let's in the main one let's change that to grb and i've still got it set to 50 12 yeah 12 that's it 12 so let's stop that and try it again OK, so now it's purple and just to prove the other one's still showing purple. I think that's what the problem was. So this near pixel strip, it's not a near pixel, that's sort of a brand, isn't it? But this pixel strip is wired up slightly differently than normal ones. So if you want to try this with a generic set of RGB lights, then bear in mind that there's this way that you can change the ordering of the colours if yours is wired up different. And obviously the cheaper ones might be wired up different. Well doesn't even mean that they're cheaper does it it's just the manufacturer has decided not to do red green blue let's have a look at the tree then so is this going to fix the tree so let's go back to 12 and the color orders at the top so if we're going to use this with a different one it's probably going to be best isn't it if you just go through each of these and open them up and just paste in what work out what your order is i suppose with the other one i could have just swapped the color out couldn't i because it was blue and I knew it should be red, so I could have just swapped the red and blue in this RGB and then that would have been an easier way to do it, wouldn't it? Oh, well, 
not as much fun that way so that's it all right so that's now more of a festive color isn't it green and uh, flashing other colors but mostly green so that's more like a tree so that's really how we can use that let's just go and have a look at this api as well and look how it try and see what is this happening so um if it can't connect to the network it does this spooky rainbows thing and it's just sort of pacing through the hues when you set something you can set you can use set rgb for this and it's got distinct values for red green and blue whatever order it is but hue saturation and i can't remember what the v stands for voluptuousness variance i can't remember vibrance maybe but yeah the hue if you change that first number that's the hue the actual color change the color will change it won't just be a brighter or darker version of the color and then saturation is the amount of i suppose saturations the amount of pure color is there not mixed with white and then um whatever the variance is don't know maybe that's the brightness uh, the general brightness so that's sort of mixing black in with whatever the picture you've got but it's a different way of of using colors but it does mean that you can just flick through through a hue value and the color will change automatically so i think that's what it's doing in this rainbows one in fact yeah before i go into that spooky rainbows let's just go back into the rainbows one set that to 12 stop and run that and just see whether there is any difference now we've set it to the right number of leds you see the bulk of the color like the purple one that's going round is only in two so that's much more colorful so it's important that you set the right number of pixels or right number of leds you've got on your string uh, and then we've got well the speed as well so let's just stop this and let's just set it to the grb i don't know whether it will make any difference because it's going through all the color values anyway but I'll just see whether we can notice any difference no not not really but anyway that's running how it's intended to do now so just looking at the spooky rainbows again and that's how it changes the color um that's converting rgb to hexadecimal for some reason it's probably that's what the api gives you so this is when it connects to well if we stop that and play it now it still should be purple yeah so it found the wi-fi connection at the bottom and then it went and called that so we could probably go to this web page and it would just give us either a value or a color back in fact i'm going to try that all right yes yeah, so it gives that value 80 0, 0, 80 so back to thunny and that's what it comes 80 0, 0, 80 so when we call this again hopefully when we call it again at some point it will change its color when someone else does it who can get it working all right so just looking at what happens when it calls that it gets that url from the variable that's at the top of the screen and then it gets the response back from that it puts it in what do you think it puts it in j maybe yeah and then it says look at j field 2 which would be the second field on this so maybe not that but this one field 2 there it converts it so that gives it a hex value it converts it into rgb there and then it sends rgb to the strip and then it goes to sleep for x amount of seconds and we saw that was set at the top as well the update interval and because this is a free api we don't want to keep on passing it really quickly if you were testing something and wanted to see whether it was working if twitter worked for me uh, which it seems not to be doing uh, definitely in the cave it doesn't want to but you could maybe change that to five just while you're testing it just to make sure it updated so there we go this is the plasma stick 2040 so something that we can use on its own and you can use it with other individually addressable rgb devices but you see there's a little gotcha there that we might have to change the rgb ordering to get it to work perfectly so if you do it and some of the demo codes the wrong color look at that bit first change that rgb so i hope you found this uh, interesting maybe we can do something else with this in the future maybe do it so that we can talk to it directly over its own little web server and change the colors directly that would be a, an interesting project to do 
But if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Maybe even give it a like if you wanted. But otherwise, bye. Oh no, just off camera. It changed to blue and I missed it. I was just packing everything away and it went to blue. Oh well, so it does work.